I hope you enjoyed that exercise. Let's take a look at my solution. Here's my required veggie class, the parent class. I give the doc that it needs to instantiate in the subclass. We will not instantiate any generic vegetables. We see we have an attribute weather, and this weather is good, and it's good for all veggies, no matter what they are. All living things, actually. We make a dictionary of the weather values that are good. We're only going to accept bad, okay, and good for our weather. And they each have a weather index that are the values in this dictionary. When we predict a harvest, we have this little silly algorithm where whatever the weather is, we use the number that's associated with it and subtract out the bug index for that particular object which be one of the specific vegetables. We're going to make a judgment. It'll be great if the harvest index is greater than 8, etc. And then we make our judgment. We have our two methods, our class method and our static method. We'll look first at the class method. Here is my decorator that's built in at class method. So this is a class method. When it is called, the class object comes in. And here's my new bug index. So I'm asking, is the class that came in the veggie class? It cannot be. I do not allow that. And so I'll raise an error, giving them instructions of what they have to really do. Otherwise, in the class that is the child class, that's a real vegetable, we are changing the bug index. We also have a static method, update weather. No class, no self comes in. If the weather is not in that dictionary, it's not one of those words, then I tell my caller what words are acceptable, and I set the veggie dot weather equal to that weather. My magic string for each of my classes is just the class name. In our testing, we first try updating our weather to good, then we make our three vegetables, and for each of these veggies, I'm going to see what happens when I predict harvest. Now this time, on line 62, I make three identifiers for the three veggie objects before I had them all in one tuple. Well, I still do, but I also have these three identifiers. I am changing the bug index for asparagus to be zero. And when I predict the harvest, we'll see that the asparagus crop got better because the bugs went away. But the other two stayed the same. We're going to degrade the weather to just OK by updating the veggie class itself. Although I could have updated it using any of the veggie classes. They would have all gone to the same update weather method. Now when I look at them, my harvest predictions for each of the vegetables, we see that it has diminished for all three. Here I'm trying to update the weather to hot, which is not one of the keys in that weather D dictionary, so I get my value error. If I didn't get my value error, I say unexpected behavior. This is my testing. Now I'm going to try to update the bug index using the veggie class, the super class. And again, I get an error, or I say unexpected behavior. That's it for this lab. I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you when you're ready to move on to something else.